Hi guys, Gareth of Video Tribe here, and in this video, I'm going to show you exactly step by step how to create a YouTube video end screen for your videos to be able to use in all of your videos or just some of them. But first off, why do you need an end screen these days? Why do you even need an end card and what are they? Well, basically the end screens or end cards are where you add a section, a holding card at the end of your videos to be able to put additional videos for people to watch or to put this subscribe icon to be able to get people to take an action that's going to benefit your channel before before they move on to another video. Now, historically, people used to use these and then they stopped using them. You might have seen videos with end screens with nothing on them anymore, where they've just been let to go abandoned as YouTube changed the settings for the end screens. But people are starting to use them more and more now. A lot of people are still saying, watch this video next and just pointing up and letting the video play out. But here's the reasons why you want an end screen in 2021 and 2022 is because when that end of your video happens, if someone is still there and they haven't taken an action yet, you know what happens. Basically, another video plays and it's not always going to be your video that plays. It might be one of your competitors' channels or someone on a, another video and then they're going to leave your channel and you really want to try and incre increase your watch time these days because that is the key metric that YouTube uses to decide if your videos and your content should be continually recommended. So if someone else watches one video and then moves on to another video and watches even more, then YouTube is going to bump you up the search rankings. It's going to suggest more traffic and it's going to share out those videos more because it knows that people watch more than one video. So it's lucrative to them to keep showing those videos to people that want to watch them. It's also a great opportunity for you to get someone to take an action other than just actually watching another video or subscribing to your channel. You hold them there for up to 20 seconds and you can have your other social media information on there or even better, a website link that you want people to go to to check out. So it's a great opportunity for free marketing and to be able to grow your channel and your business rather than just letting them run away somewhere else into the ethos of YouTube and getting lost. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using a tool called Snapper. This is my preferred online tool. It's very similar to Canva, but if you want to use Canva, then use Canva. What I like about Snapper is a lot of the templates are already done for me and it shows me the different sizing based on the screen that I'm actually going to be creating and they have a free account without any limits you just are only allowed three downloads or something like that so I will put a link in the description you can go and create a free account and you won't have the limitations that Canva has but I have used Canva in the past it's also very good it's just personal preference is completely up to you and the process is fairly similar so let's jump onto my computer and get started so the first thing you're going to want to do if you are using Snapper, then you would want to scroll down to the templates and you would see the YouTube end screen. I'm assuming that Canva would be similar and perhaps they have some templates ready to go for you already. But if you're using Snapper, then click on that. And what is automatically going to show up is a whole list of completely done for you templates. And I absolutely love this because it just makes my life so much easier. They look great. They're very up to date. They're always changing. And because these guys are a relatively new business, they've got lots of modern templates that are going to be able to easily be tweaked for the design. So basically, it's only going to take me 10 minutes to do this job. So I'm going to scroll down. And what you want to be looking for is one that's, what is it you want people to do? Do you want to have one video and get them to subscribe or do you want to have two videos and get them to subscribe? So typically I wouldn't have more than one to two videos and a subscribe such as this one here. You see, this is a good one here. The circle icon is where you could put the, the link to be able to subscribe and then you would put your holding videos here. Now I will show you how to do that in a different video. I'm just going to show you how to design the card for this one in particular. So scroll down and what you're going to want to do is decide on what the action you want them to take is. Do you want them just to watch videos and to subscribe? Do you want to put your social media links on there? Not links, but basically the information of where they go to next or do you want to even perhaps have a information about your website and some free training they could go and check out so you could say check out this site li link here for more additional free training so you could make one side or all about marketing and then have one part about watch another video and another part which could be for the subscribe side. So decide what you're going to do in advance so I probably want something similar to this I actually quite like this one here 
There's another one that I like as well, which is this one here where it's got the social media each side and I can have the subscribe icon in the middle. But let's scroll down and use this one here. Once you click on that, that is going to open up and I can basically change everything. And you're going to see here, it's already told you the areas where the screen elements are going to be hidden. So non end screen elements only. So you have to make sure that your in screen elements, and this is what I love about Snapper. You have to make sure that the video sections and the subscribe sections are going to be in the center area. So they're going to be in the center area here that is laid out. Now I can turn that off and it will no longer just show me the safe zone. But if I turn that back on, it's going to show me that I need to, I can move these around if I want, but obviously they have to be within this area. So hopefully that makes sense. When you come to add them in YouTube, then, and I will put a link in the description to another video where I'll show you exactly how to do that. But when you do this inside of YouTube, you will want to make sure that they're inside this area. Otherwise your end screen is gonna look a bit funny. If I move this up here and I can only put the video here in YouTube, then basically I'm going to have some dead white space here and an overlap of the video. So again, it's super important that you put it in the safe area. So the first thing I'm gonna to want to do is perhaps change the background image. Maybe I just wanna pick another random image of some sort. Perhaps I like the, the beach one here, camping. I could pick any different, and they have lots of free images from pixels here. Um, otherwise you could import your own. So I could say, okay, I like this one. I'm gonna change it to that. And then obviously this one, I maybe want to change it to a picture of myself, but I could just come in here again and just put any old thing. Perhaps this is going to be me right here. And I just remove that. And then I put that and I'm apparently an old lady. I don't know what that is about, but you could put the image of yourself here or whatever it is the branding. Normally you would have the, the image that is actually located on your page for your profile of your channel, or you could just have your channel logo, whatever you want here. So they know to be able to subscribe and you can update these sections, change the, the text itself just by highlighting it and typing. Or I could change the button and I can change the color. I can make it more see-through. I can do anything like that. It's all very easy to change. And again, changing the text, anything like that. So I quite like the design of this anyways. And once done, that is it. You can literally change any of these things. The template already works. Obviously, I wanna change the text if I want this here, but maybe I wanted to put some marketing, as I said, and put my domain saying for some free training, click here. Or perhaps I want to come in here and say, okay, I actually want some arrows. And I want to say, come down. And actually we'll just go arrow. And maybe I want to say, add something like this. I can change the color. And let's say I want to flip it. So it's the other way. Change that like that, make it smaller. And then maybe I wanted to put that there and I wanted to add some additional text to be able to say something such as watch next. So again, you can see how easy it is to be able just to add any additional graphics that you want to the card. Now, once done, you can click save and you can also name it up here. So I could change the name of that and then click save. And then when I want to download it, I'm going to not want to see through background, so I'll leave it as is. And then you can just download it as high res PNG or basically any of these. But if you download it as any of these, they're gonna be a lot bigger. So really I would say for most videos, this would be more than enough, but you can actually test that out in your video editing software because that's what you're gonna to have to do next. You're gonna to have to download this and depending on the video editing software that you're using, you're going to want to then put it in at the end of the clip and actually just have it holding there with your music playing or nothing happening you could still be talking, or it could just be a dead holding screen for 20 seconds. You don't have to do anything. It could just be that you're putting this image at the end of your ed edited video, or you're giving it to your editor and saying, put this at the end, just so it plays out for the last 20 seconds. Now it's massively important that you do not go over 20 seconds because this is can only have these videos showing for the last 20 seconds of the video. So 20 seconds or less we can do, 
and then it will automatically show this and the videos will automatically be, be applied and you won't see any white space here. You will only see the videos that you've selected to show here. Now you can have those randomly selected, but again, I'll put a link in the description to another video showing you exactly how to add this once done in your, to your video inside of YouTube itself. Now, if you've got any questions regarding that or anything else, feel free to ask in the comments below and I'll happily help you out. And as always, if you found value in this video, then please, please hit the like button as this helps us grow our channel and reach more people. Thanks for watching. You will be able to see an end screen now that I've pre-done so you can actually see one in action. I'll see you inside the next training video.